Glasgow games were both very tight. Uh, potentially, I think if we'd have if we'd have been more in the hunt in the hunting cup and gone full on in, in the Glasgow game, I think I think that was a game that was there for the winning. Um, and so you know, I think the the whole experience is very good for us. We've we've got something out of every game. And what we have to do now this year is what we did last year, which is is make sure our hunting cup experience knocks us on for the rest of the Premiership for the rest of the season. Uh, and Cardiff is a very important game in that. That whatever we whatever we do this weekend has got to make sure it makes us a better team. And we've had that year on year. You know, our, our second half of the season, we've kind of added a couple of things based on the, the, that big game experience. We've added a couple of things based on a lot of players coming through tough games. And I think that's what's important. You need to remember now we've got extra players who've come through Harney and Cup campaign. You know, now you've, you've had Jack Noel come through Harney Cup campaign. You've had Dave Viewers come through Harney Cup campaign. You know, these guys, these guys hadn't been through this last year. You know, Damien Welsh has played a full part through a Harney Cup campaign. Now, you know, these are these are very important things. You know, Luke Cowan Dickey getting Harney Cup experience. Ben Moon getting some big Harney Cup experience. If you actually start to work your way through the team, you know, we've got a lot of guys who have, have now had some big experiences for the first time, and they will only get better for that. Um, and that's an important part of what we do here. You know, we, we learn things, we experience things, and we've got a target yet better. We're not, we're not happy that we're not winning as many games as rugby as we like, but we're also you know, realis re realists in that we actually do look at the results. And we've had a lot of less than seven point, well, less than one score losses against some very, very good sides. Um, and what we have to focus on is, 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 is seeing the picture for what it is, and not getting panicky and thinking we've got to rip everything up and start all over again. Because what we do works against everybody to within one score pretty much. Well that's not a bad that's not a bad foundation for us to be working from for the rest of the season and going forward. There was a possibility but the biggest opportunity for us um, with a few changes in the team again is to go down there and uh, and, uh, and, and make it make an impact for the following week in the LV and really and really get the team team flowing, gelling, playing some rugby and, and correcting all the mistakes that we made last year last week and uh, really trying to push forward week on week. I mean, there's, there's not hundreds of things to say. Every, every week we sort of move, we try and tweak as little as possible, just so that we're, we're making little gains here and there, and just learning from our mistakes. So there'll be some work at the breakdown that, we, that we'll have to address. Um, not, not to say it was that bad, but it's just one of those things that we want to up up the tempo. Obviously, with going to the uh, artificial pitch as well, um, we have to be prepared to play uh, play some rugby, play some fast rugby, from, uh, and defend some fast rugby as well. So I've been working on that all week. Yeah, no, looking at them, you know, I think they're still doing a lot of things. We we were doing when I was there last year, but obviously they would have they would have made a couple of few tweaks, and the coaching staff's a little bit different now. So I think, um, and I think they've changed a lot since we played them at home here. So you know, I'm expecting a big uh, challenge against them because they have moved down a bit, and they certainly have improved in, uh, since the last time we played them. I think, you know, I think they're a young side as well. You know, when I was there, obviously there was a lot of young boys coming through through the academy system, and uh, it's been a massive learning curve for them the last two years. They lost a lot of uh, experienced players. We played a lot of games for the club and a lot of internationals as well. So, you know, it's kind of a, it's been a learning curve for them, and they've taken the rough with a smooth, and they've come up. And you know, they've had some great wins this year as well, beating Toulon at home, and you know, Glasgow beating them home and away. It's great results for them as well.